Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury transits for 2015. Libra, Mercury is retrograde three times this year. The first time is from January 20th through February 11th. It's in Aquarius and in your fifth house. So you may have to make some adjustments in romance and in creative projects, you may need to be flexible. The second time is from May 18th through June 11th. It's in Gemini and your ninth house and dreaming may be fun, but study takes hard work. Make sure you're focusing on important details. The third time is from September 17th through October 9th. It's in Libra, in your first house. <laughs> you don't like creating problems, so know exactly what you're saying, and please make sure that other people understand you. Venus Transit for 2015. Libra, Venus, the goddess of love, and your ruling planet, shines on you from April 11th through May 8th. It's a good time to socialize and also be a little bit more ambitious. She visits your sign from November 8th through December 5th, enhancing your beauty and your ability to attract the one you love. Be careful with criticism when she retrogrades from July 25th through September 6th. Make sure you're kind to others. Mars Transit for 2015. Libra, Mars, planet of action and desire, asks you to expand your horizons and be adventurous from May 12th through June 24th. You easily grasp onto new ideas and you can turn them into powerful new understanding. He is in your first house from November 13th through January 3rd, 2016. Now he's telling you it's your turn to make some waves. Now this may surprise some people, but if you want to move forward, you must take action on your own ideas. Jupiter Transit for 2015. Libra, Jupiter starts the year retrograde in your 11th house of groups and the sign of Leo. It's time to reevaluate the time, money, and energy you've invested in social or humanitarian groups. They must live up to your high standards or you'll go someplace else and you'll feel freer after April 8th. Now, he will move into Virgo and your 12th house of spirituality on August 11th. You'll need some quiet time to turn inward. You can use the power of your spirit to heal old wounds, and that'll set you free. You'll gain through meditation and spirituality. And by the way, have a talk with your guardian angels. Saturn Transit for 2015. Libra, Saturn, the Lord of Karma, moves into Sagittarius and your third house of the mind for the first time in 29 years. <laughs> you need to examine your ability to understand what you have learned from your surroundings and how you can use it in the world to get ahead in your community. If you need more knowledge, you got to go and get it. <laughs> now, he retrograde back into your second house of resources and the sign Scorpio from June 16th through September 19th. You must take this time to review the lessons that you have learned concerning your ability to make money and the use of your resources. You must sharpen your talents. For now, it's time to move to the future. Uranus squared Pluto, the final square, 2015. Libra, the final square between Uranus, the planet of chaos, 
And Pluto, the planet of death and resurrection, <laughs> occurs on March 17th. Now, Uranus has brought a lot of change energy to your seventh house of partnerships for the past few years. He's given you the energy and the opportunity to break through limiting situations and boring relationships. This will allow you to enhance your life through more exciting relationships. The final square to Pluto in your fourth house will demand that you find a new and more powerful sense of security in your life. You have grown to understand that a deep commitment can actually bring emotional peace and more satisfaction to your life. Neptune Transit 2015 Libra, Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your sixth house. He inspires you to be more creative and expressive in your work. Your imagination may become a powerful tool opening new paths to recognition. Now Neptune does go retrograde from June through November. So keep at least one foot firmly planted on the ground. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart, which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.